Midwest. I'm not giving head. Girls go through everything with their pussy. What do I look like eating it? I'm not going to eat it. It's not happening. Girls hit me with the, oh, you don't eat pussy. You're not fucking me, boy. You ain't touching me. You a little boy artist. Well, bitch, fuck you then. That's what I was on. Fuck you then, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. I don't need to fuck you anyway then. That's God. That's God telling me I don't need to do it. <laughs> you feel me? That's that's that was my mindset. God telling me that you ain't for me then, because in, in, in my head, in my head, I'm gonna tell y'all my mindset when I'm fucking. Okay, when I'm fucking, my thing, my thing is when I'm fucking, right? <clears throat> my thing is, I I wanna I wanna I want you to be pleased to the, and this might sound a little toxic, and I'm sorry. I wanna. Okay, I was trying to think how can I say it without getting banned. I want to fuck you so good that this is gonna sound toxic. I want to fuck you so good that no matter what I do, no matter what I do, everything gonna be okay. All right, so that might that might sound that might sound a little toxic. It might sound a little toxic, but but. I want I want to make sure that I do it so good that you remember me no matter what. Like even after we argue, I want to know if I say one certain thing, you're gonna have a flashback. And that's I'm, and and, and that's wrong. And that's wrong. That's wrong. It is. It's wrong. But it's also wrong not to fuck you good if I got the ability to. Laying them gems on y'all. I swear to God, that's what I be thinking about. Because let's have grown folks talk real quick. It's not going to get too explicit. If you fucking a girl and you nut first two minutes. It's not that, yo, you you a nut-ass nigga. It's that that girl just got that, yeah. She got that, yeah. That's what that means. She just got that, yeah. It's about what you do after. You got to keep on going. You got to keep on going. You have to keep on going. You have to keep going. That's it. That's it. So, the faster... That I enjoy myself, the more I want to please you. So now I'm trying to hypnotize you. So when I'm in it, when I first, this is my mindset. When I first go, when I first go in, I'm going, right? I'm going, boom. I'm doing my thing. Whoa, it's climaxing. Whoa, whoa. If you're not my bitch, I'm out of there. Wipe it off or swap it out. I'm back in. Now it's your turn. That's my, that's my thing. I need to hypnotize you. You feel me? I'm not going to ram and all this. I need to make sure you love this. If I don't see no reaction, we're switching the speeds. We're switching how much goes. You, you feel me? We I, I have to make you feel me. Like, not hurt you. I need to make you. I want you to be like, no, nah, don't stop. So, I feel like if I'm offering you this whole package, right? And I don't get tired. And I don't get tired. Why do I have to eat it? That was my thing. Why? What sex am I like? Sex don't have a smell. If you smell a definite smell, that bitch stink or you stink. One of, or one of y'all eating so unhealthy. If you eat unhealthy shit, like if you eat really bad, you need... To cleanse your system with water. You need to go on a detox. If you pee and your pee is like yellow, yellow, you it's going to have a, a sex, but, but a smell. If you smell something, that means one of y'all stink. Like, or or y'all or y'all not eating good. But besides that, sex don't have a smell. It just got like an aroma. It got it got like a feeling. You could walk in a room and tell two people was fucking, even if they fully dressed. It's like, yo, y'all just was fucking. You feel me? Like, yo, y'all just was fucking. It got a, it got an aroma. You feel me? Aroma is not good or bad. It's just like, yo, you, it's a feeling. 
but boom. This might not go on YouTube. It's too explicit. It's like a tire happy look. <laughs> yeah, it's a tire. It's a tire happy look. Boom. Sex is energy. It is. Y'all, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in nothing. I don't believe in... Y'all, sex is an energy thing. Do not fuck any bitch who morals is fucked up. Do not fuck a bitch who morals is fucked up. She will transfer them demons to your body. I swear to God, she will. I swear to God, she will. I swear to God. Do not do it. God is real, bro. And I appreciate you. That might be your thing. It's not mine, bro. Don't try to push it on me. I'm just saying. Succubus, yes. Like any bitch who like is a demon, like like bitches who, bitches who you think their body is just a tool, do not fuck them. Don't 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 ever fuck a girl who think their body is a tool. Like girls who like, yeah, like I fuck so what? Like no, don't fuck them bitches. That they they crazy. They gonna transfer some shit to you. You don't you don't want. You don't want. Don't 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 fuck them bitches. Anyways, my thing is if I'm offering this great sex, why I got eat it? So it was this one girl. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It was this one girl. I wanted to, like, ugh, I don't know what it is. I don't know. My thing, my thing be like this. All right, look. If if I'm a child of God, right? All right, God is real. Boom. I'm a child of God. Why am I attracted to an ass? Like, if you got a cute face and an ass, I'm so attracted. Like, if you got an ass, I look at your face, you disgust it. I'm not going to love it. I'm not going to love fucking you. I can't. Because if you look back or if I look at you or... Or if, I, if I'm pulling your hair and I see you and you fucking ugly, bro, I'm going to regret it. I swear to God. I, on my mom life. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. But if you look good and your ass is fat. Ah! Ah! Bro. I, I, something in me just make me like, like. Yo, it, the things I do to her. And, and and then realistically, let's realistically speak real quick. You say like, yo, the things I do to her, just then the third. You might try to fuck her better, but you just gonna fuck. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing special. You just horny. And, and I didn't know what was up with me. I was 16 at the time. And I was just horny. Like, not, when, when y'all use the word horny, it's so many people over out here that's overly horny. Being horny is okay. Because we have hormones. They're in our body. It don't matter who you It don't matter if you're a child of God, if you're the pastor daughter. If you see somebody that you're attracted to, you might have them th type of thoughts. Let's keep it above. It don't matter if you're the pastor son. If you see a bad bitch with a, and, and you fuck with her, like you're going to, like it's something in you. You're going to see something that, that turns you on one, one day of your life. It don't matter if it's only one day. One day you will get turned on. Why? Because it's hormones in our body. So being horny is regular. But some of y'all are overly horny. Y'all will jerk off to a bitch that got a cute face. How are you jerking off to a face? Some of y'all niggas are weird. That's overly horny. We mix the word horny and overly horny so much that it's so it's so uncomfortable. You feel me? Now that's weird. Or or it's like like some of y'all be commenting on the girls' pictures like, I'm two weeks clean. Clean from what? Beating your dick? To a face? No! The only way I'm giving that a pass is that's your nigga. Y'all already fucked. You know what he got to offer y'all away from each other. You do your thing. If we being honest, if we being honest, that's your thing, that's your thing. I heard some of the younger kids are having phone sex. I've never been one of those. It's a little weird to me. I'm going to step back from that conversation. Anyways, let's not act like, let's not act like sex ain't normal. A lot of people act like sex not normal. It's normal. It's normal. Hormones, normal. Being horny, normal. All of it, normal. So as a horny young boy, not an overly horny young boy, I wasn't going to say, bro, I want to fuck her so bad and go to a pic where where she got her ass sitting on the pool or, or where she turned around in the mirror or she got her ass sticking out and beat my dick. It's not gonna happen. If you uh, uh and, and and e sexton oh and if you ever been on a phone with your partner and y'all, what's the word? And y'all um collectively 
masturbated. You're done. You're done. Y'all both aware that y'all both masturbating and y'all gonna do it at the same time on the phone. At least, come on, come on. If you're gonna masturbate to your partner, go to, go to your long time. Go to go 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 to yourself collectively at the same time, and y'all talk each other. Y'all talk to each other while y'all doing it. Yeah, I just want to hit it. I want to hit it. I'ma fuck you so good. I love you. I love your butt. Like, what do you even say? Ew. You're not even in it for real. A masturbation simulation. Like, you sick fucking bastards. I know, bro, and I only know because of TikTok. TikTok put me on. I see posts with a million likes. Like, yeah, when when I hear his voice, so I'm masturbating to it. And, and all the girls saying, oh, this this really, for the For You page is for me today. Oh, oh, the shit, the shit be so, and I be thinking, and I be thinking like, yo, I know y'all try to bust the little jokes like, yo, Rod, you getting older. I'm not Duke. Duke is 29. You can't call Kai old. You can't call Phantom old. Any nigga under 26 is younger. If I ain't 30, don't call me fucking old. But it start making me think, Damn. Is it just a younger thing? Is that a younger thing to just be on the phone at the same time? Yeah, Duke 29. And 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 he beating his dick while you playing with yourself? While you talk to each other? Crazy. On Discord, too. Or over the phone. If that's a young thing, it's crazy. I kind of understand now why, why old here is like, maybe some of the shit we did really was crazy. Because that's wild. 1987. Damn, that's Duke birthday. I thought y'all was playing when y'all say 80s. You from the 80s? The oldest shit. My fault, dude. Let me chill. You probably take it personal. Not my fault, dude. 87, just old. Duke 28. Oh, he 28. Alright, he not 30, so don't call him old, though. Old as dirt. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know who started this, but whoever started the like, yo, after you get out your teens, you just an old ass fucking nigga. That's <laughs> like that shit crazy. They call they call Kai old. I'm like Kai old. No, he's 29. That's what I said. He's 29. Nigga said 28. I don't know math, man. I never tried to do math. Did y'all ever make me say like, yo, what? What year? Uh, uh, I just say 29. Rod don't know his math, man. Keem five stars dick eating, man. Like, stop dick eating. Look. They call him old by every single one of his streams. I think it's just his troll. I think as a person, if they, like, start getting under your skin, you got to take a step back and realize, like, bro, it's the internet. It doesn't matter. But anyways, um... Because a lot of girls like older men. Like, Deb, like, ooh, Duke, he got the grills. He 29, about to be 30, got money. Like, you know, all this. Yeah, as long as I don't take it serious. But, uh, I'm dead ass scared to turn 20 this year. Yeah. I mean,. Yeah, getting older is scary. It's crazy because as young boys, you be like, yo, I wish I grow up. But let me get back to the story because I realize we've been off topic for a minute. Anyways, I, I wanted to fuck the girl. Yes, that's where it was. I wanted to fuck the girl so bad, bro. And it was it was because her, it was like, it was like her face gave off a sex appeal. Like, like it seemed like she was always trying to seduce me. And, and I don't think I'm the main character. Like, a lot of people feel like they're the main character. Like, some of my friends, they say shit like, like, bro. They'll say shit like, yo, bro. Why, bro, looking at me like that? It's like, bro, he just looking. You're not special. Or, like, you feel me? Some niggas say shit and they be like, you're not the main character. You feel me? So, it wasn't like, I 
thought I was the main character, but it's like when you talk to me, you know that you're not being regular. You don't talk to your mom like this. You don't talk to your mom like this. It's the way she spoke. She spoke slower. Like my first time talking to her, I said, oh shit, yo, I be seeing you around and shit. She, oh, you do? Stare at me in my eyes. Lip gloss glossy looking like a bad bitch with her natural hair out with a fat ass. I said, I said, yeah, like, bro, that, that's, keep it a buck. That's not a real response. Yo, I be seeing you around. Oh, you do? What? Like, <laughs> Like, what? That's not a... Oh, you do? That's not a real response, bro. That's that's like... That's kind of like a... You want me to say a little more. You want me to go in detail. Like, you want me... You feel me? Because my response after that... Like, like, yeah, what you thought I was lying about seeing you? Like, I see you around, obviously. Like, be for real. Exactly. That's filler language. She talking in filler. Filler is a flirtatious language. Filler, let me give y'all examples of filler. Filler language, you know, y'all know, y'all be like, yo, all these languages and he chose to speak real, like, or, or, you feel me? Filler is a language. Like, if, if I'm flirting and, and she say, Rod, you look good today. And I be like, you think so? It was no need for that response. That's a filler response. It's no need. It's it's no need for that response. She a natural flirt. Maybe that's what it is. You feel me? She just say minimal words. So I'm like, yeah, I be seeing you around and shit. Like for real, for real. What class you in and shit and all this. So she told me who class she was in, but I didn't know who that teacher was. That's because uh, when I was in temp, she was in the level. She was a great hire to me. She probably was just sarcastic. No, but it wasn't like she trying to be smart because she's genuinely smiling. I didn't saw her be mean to niggas. She even looked cute when she mean. Oh my God, she looked cute when she mean, bro. If you look cute when you mean, like when when somebody playing with her and she like get out my face, like all oh, this, it's like damn, like why are you getting mad like that with that on? You 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 got to carry around that wagon all day. Let me lay you down. Put you to sleep. Like, I'm trying to, like, oh, what the fuck? So, you feel me? We had that conversation or whatever. That's the first time, you feel me? And then not even like, yo, I just keep looking at her ass. I'm looking at her whole structure. You're not even allowed to wear open-toe shoes. The bitch always had her toes done. You know you're trying to seduce me. Why you keep trying to show your toes? It's not like toes turn you on, but when, when a girl got her nails and toes done, it turned me on. I'm sorry. Turned me on. It show me you keep up with yourself. It show me you keep up with yourself. That's all it do. You feel me? So with all that going on, and it must have been the fact that she was in 11th grade, so she gave like a little older vibe off too. But the thing about girls like her is, if you a bad bitch that go to school, everybody in the school know you a bad bitch. You feel me? Everybody... So you like feet? No, I like a bitch with good hygiene. I think you missed the message. I said it's all about girl that can keep up with herself. But um, like you know, everybody knows she's a bad bitch. You feel me? So my second time encountering her and shit was on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, I see her in the hallway, and I was really on some scared shit for real, for real, because I was on some like walk past her. It felt like look, just the climax, just the climax meter. Look, she's walking. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up. She walked past. Oh, I go down. Oh, she coming back. Oh, it's going up. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. It was like every time she walked up to me, the climax got high, and I was like. One time she said something to me, and I'm like, because I used to tell my friends, like, yeah, I'm going to say something to her. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say something. I'm going to do that. And they're like, all right, say something, say something. She walked right past. I say nothing. One time she spoke. One time, uh, one time she spoke to me. She, boy, what you doing in the hallway? I took that as me speaking. I'm like, what? Shut up. Oh, Liz. I, I. I took a W that day. The W in my eyes was, yo, we had some type of conversation. I was being real delusional. And it, was, it wasn't it was even like, yo, I was a nigga with no riz. It was the fact that, like, my scaredness, some niggas don't know why they scared, right? 
They don't know why they shy. They don't know why they would talk, wouldn't talk to a bitch, right? I was scared to talk to her because my thing was when you create an oppression on somebody, it sticks. So like if you make if I give y'all the impression that I'm an asshole, y'all gonna say, yeah, Rod being nice today, but at the end of the day, it's today. You think I'm an asshole every day. You feel me? If I give off the impression that I'm a weirdo, I can never go back. It's gonna be like, yo, he trying to be cool today, but he's still a weirdo. If I put, if I put on the the, the front, like, yeah, like, like, it's crazy because you can't put on the impression that you the top nigga or you a third last nigga, and then do some weird shit, cause then it go down. It's weird how it works. Once you set the standard that you a bottom tier nigga, you stay there, and it's hard to get up. Once you set it that you a top, imagine you set the the standard like, yeah, I'm thorough, I'm a top, I'm a third last nigga. And then a nigga pull your pants down, pants you. You can't come back from that. You a bitch after that. You can't. You can't come back from that. It's not. It's no way to come back from it. It's no way to stay thorough after that. A nigga then pulled your pants down. You're a bitch. It's it's over. It's runs. It's runs. It's done. You feel me? It's runs. It's runs. Even if you even if you beat his ass, he took it there with you. He took it there with you though. You gotta think. You gotta think when uh, uh, disrespectful niggas in school, they call they call a random girl a bitch. They would never call the badass girl a bitch. It's a certain respect level. A nigga wouldn't ever pull your pants down if he knew you wasn't to be fucked with. If you pull your pants down, he think you a bitch. You can't come back. <laughs> You can't come back from it. So, that's my thing. Next next thing is, I find her Instagram. I follow her. She do not follow me back. I like three pictures. That was my thing at the time. Y'all know, y'all know it used to be like, yo, you like three pictures. You really shooting your shot. Like, you know. Uh, I'm like, okay. So, I like three pictures and all that. I like three pictures. I wake up the next day. No follow back. I see her in person. I'm like, yo, like. You ain't there follow me back and all that. She, you follow me? Oh, I saw your page. You got like the little weird anime shit going on on it, right? I didn't know you even, you like that. <laughs> so the bitch saw my page. She saw me. And the bitch didn't follow back. Fuck! Now she think I'm a cornball. <laughs> Look, and I told y'all, I'm going to always be myself. Even to this day, my profile pic is death new. It's light Yagami. Oh, no, no, I switched my profile pic. But my, my bio is light Yagami. I got all of this anime shit because that's me. I love it. I'm go it's going to stay me. I'm going to always be myself. But the fact that she dicked me, at that time, at that time, I thought that I didn't know that you could fully be yourself and keep bitches. So at that time, I, I went home and I switched my IG up. I switched the profile pic to a thorough nigga pic. I put my best pic up. I put my best picture up and all that. Like, I'm like, nah, bro. I got to really, like, set the tone. You feel me? I got to really do my, I, I got to really do my thing. You feel me? I deleted it out of my bio. Switch my profile picture. You feel me? All that. Did she follow you though? No, she didn't. Um, but when she asked, yeah, what's all that? I'm like, oh, that's 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 some shit I was doing. My little cousin, like, he be on my page and shit. But for real, for real, follow me back and shit. She, mm-hmm. I got you when I get home. Her phone in her hand. Her phone in her, in her hand. I still ain't get the follow back, bro. Still ain't get the follow back. Dicked me. Stop begging, right? I didn't beg. I asked one time. She said, I got you when I get home. That's when she cooked me. You like the seven dude to talk to her. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm like, yeah, my cousin, all this, all this, blah, blah, blah. I start throwing. But um, you said you was never going to change yourself. I told you, at this time, bro, I was willing to do anything to fuck her. That's what it was on. And mind you, for the ladies that's thinking like, damn, you just wanted to fuck her, this, that, and the third. My thing is, me personally can't speak for a lot of other niggas. I thought, fuck you, we can, it could go wherever you want it to go. You know? Long as, long as it's good, of course. But after I fuck you, it can go wherever you want it to go, bro. I'm not going to block you. Like, we could, why would I block you when we could fuck again? If we could fuck again, why would I block you? Or why would I act weird? Yeah, it's an objective, not an angle. I'm not a weirdo. And if and then a lot of a lot of people try to make you feel bad for wanting to fuck. Like wearing wearing clothes that show a lot of skin is one thing. I'm not gonna tell a girl don't wear clothes with a lot of skin, but don't be mad that it turned me on. You can't. You can't be mad that it turned me on. How? You keep doing it to me. If your ass cheek hanging out the bottom of your jean shorts. If you're going to keep wearing a crop top and smiling. I can't. Realistically. Realistically. Realistically, think about this. Think about this realistically, right? <sighs> think about this realistically. You think I'm going to see you looking bad and smiling at me every day, and I'm going to say, damn, I want to love her and marry her off first sight. What's more realistic, that or yo, I'm not a lot of the way she look, I want, I want huh? Realistically. Who looks at a person and say, yo, I want to love them forever. Can y'all be realistic? Be fucking for real. I don't even know you yet. And if you like, I do, that's why you're dumb. That's dumb. Look at them. Damn, I want to love you forever. You don't even know that person. You can meet, you could, you could really get to know that person. They'd be an asshole. Why are you loving a person you don't know? Ew. You just gullible then. It's delusional. That's delusional. I ain't dumb laughing my ass off. Y'all would still be with the person that y'all wanted to love off first sight. And then when you love a person off first sight, all they got is advantage to take all they do all they got is the advantage to take advantage of you. Cause at the end of the day you love them off first sight. And they regular, so they don't love you yet. So now you love them so much, you let them fuck. They don't ever love you. But if we mutually, if we're mutually on a type time, like, yo, we want to do something with each other. We on the same understanding. We get to know each other. We can, you feel me? It can work. I text her IG, she texts back. I text her IG, she texts back. I text her, I say, yo. She said, what's up? Question mark. I said, damn, why you hit me with the su what's up with the question mark? I just wanted to text you. I ain't gonna lie. I was just on your page. I just wanted to text you. She, oh, my bad. No emojis, no dots, no no nothing. So now I'm like, damn, bro, this bitch playing hard to get. I can't, feel me? I'm like, you feel me? So I hit her with the curveball. I hit her with the curveball, of course, because it's on the type time like, bro, you playing hard to get. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put my best work on the line. When, when, when it's time to really step in, you activate all your badges. Anytime somebody got that that shield up, she had a, like a, a metal riot shield, but she don't know. But she don't she don't know that I could shoot you in the foot. If you play Call of Duty, you already know. If you walking up with the shield, their foot is all, all already exposed. As soon as you turn, I could hit you on your side. Always, you feel me? It's always a loophole. So I automatically pull out the pistol and shoot the foot. My next my, my next move is after that. Right, no emojis mean something different now. You know, that was 2016. No emojis meant you wasn't fucking with it. Um, I said 2016. Whatever whatever year uh, I was in. But um, 2016 was farther back. I'm tripping. God did. <laughs> Why you say God did? That's what I'm saying. She ain't want me. So my next move is always to up the ante. 
always to up the ante. I send the voice message. I send a voice message. I'm like, yeah, I was I was on your page. I, I know you wasn't going to ask. That's cool. i always been this way. I'm like, yeah, I know you wasn't going to ask. That's cool. But I was on your page because I'm not going to lie. You don't look how you look in person on Instagram. Boom. Anytime you provide a girl with information that she wants to know, she's going to be interested in the conversation even if she hates you. She, you can mess with her every day and she could really hate your guts because you play with her. But if you got some information that's going to help her or that she's interested in, she'll be interested in the conversation. So now she on a type time like, now she on a type time like, what you mean? So so I hit her with the voice message like, no, it's a good thing. Like, what you, why you, because she put a question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Isn't that everyone? No, that ain't me. If somebody said you look different than you do on a gram. I personally wouldn't ever text back because it's, she definitely ain't want me to be in it. I wouldn't text back. So I don't know. But you never think voice messages sound different? It don't matter how it sounds. When you send a text, it doesn't convey your energy. When you say yo regularly, it's just like yo. You feel me? New York niggas be like yo. You can't convey that through a yo. You feel me? You can't really get your yo off. Yo, Rod, you good? Versus, yo, Rod, you good? Question mark. I think you trying to check up on me because you think I'm a depressed bitch or something. You feel me? You you never know. So with the voice message, I'm like, yeah, you you, you I was on your page because you because you look good. Like I don't know, you look better in person. Like I'm like, you, you're not a catfish. You like a, you you a fish cat. I it was real corny, but but she laughed. You feel me? So at the at the at the she laughed and shit. I'm like, okay, we got some we got some human decency. She's a human. Boom. So I'm like, no, nah, what you doing, though? She like, nothing. I'm just doing homework and shit, mind you. I don't do homework at that time. At that time, I wasn't doing homework because at the end of the day, all my work in school, homework didn't get graded. Homework was just practice. Like, what? Homework, why would I just do something that's not worth a grade to practice for the test? I'll just guess. So educated guess. So boom. So when she laughed, I knew I had her. She put the laughing emojis. Even if she wasn't laughing, she went out her way to find the laughing emojis. You feel me? She went out her way to find the laughing emojis. Once you got your way to find the laughing emojis, I know I already got you. Boom. So boom. She went out her way to find the laughing emojis. I'm like, okay, this is my signal to, to keep applying the pressure. You gotta keep going fast. You gotta keep going down. You feel me? Even if she, even, even if she like, oh, this, look at this bitch ass nigga. That's what I, I think. All girls like that. Personally, I think girls are evil. All girls are evil. It don't matter if we date. It don't matter if you my sister because I I see I see how girls move and I and I know how they are. So unless you unless you really got her geeked and she like yo like I really like this boy I'm texting, I think they're evil. I think personally every girl is sending you to the group chat or showing a the person they would or posting on their close friends for for people to see. Girls are I feel like attention driven. That's why I like girls who don't like attention like. When y'all like, yo, why don't you show this person? Why don't you don't show your girl that much? I don't like people who seek or need attention from social media or other people. If you're that type of girl, I, I, I hate you. Like, if you got to keep, like, you need people to comment. Or you need, you need, like, when you need something, it's like, because that's all that is. You feel me? If, if you got to show my message to your close friends, your friend, or your... If you can't just dub me and say fuck me by yourself, why you gotta sh show people? It's not it's not even because I'm butthurt. It's it's like, what does that do for you? All right, you got 50 people on your close friends. You post, who does nigga think he is? Hmm. What was your objective? And I think all girls like that. I do. Except for a, sele a select few. And I think even that select few did it. Before they did it before, even if they don't do it constant, they do it before. I think girls are evil, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that's evil. It's evil because you attending the downplay the nigga. You attending the cookie. Oh, bro, try to do it. You can't even with the no thanks. You feel me? If he keep going, all of this, but but the girls that do that, it's like shot. So I always think that. So when I'm thinking that, I'm always on some cool shit. I'm always t evil is a strong word. Evil is the perfect word. That's how strong it gotta be. That's evil. Niggas do it all the time though. Me or none of my friends do that. Leak has never sent me messages between him and a girl like, yo, bro, this bit, who, who she thinks she is. 
That's gay. That's gay. That's gay. To send me a girl like, yeah, bro, she ugly. I don't want her. Who does she think she is? Pause? Pause? Why are you even showing me this? No homo. Pause. Pause. Imagine a girl texting me in my spam like, Rod, you really my man. And I screenshot that. And, and, and she'll leave. Pause. That's it. It's nothing else to say. Pause. You feel me? That's weird. But a girl would do it in a heartbeat. You feel me? I don't do that. I don't. I, that's exposing girls. What I'm exposing you for? Why? So you could look like a dick eater. I know you ain't doing this to all girl, all the niggas. So I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna expose you. And if I text you, if I ever text you back, I mean, I want you. I won't text back unless I want you. If I text back, period, I want you. I mean, I looked on your page. Same thing with girls. I, my thing be with girls. You looked on my page. You already ain't like me. What you text back for? You bored? The nigga that you like not giving you enough attention, right? Okay. And and I don't want to keep bashing girls, so let me even it up. Because y'all know I'm all even. Because niggas ain't shit either. Niggas is evil in their own way. That's what niggas would do. Text you and not like you at all. Weirdos. Weirdos. Text you and not like you at all. Why are you going to sit here and text this girl all day? You'll text her all day for days and you don't like her. Evil. It's evil. And I understand if you're saying it, it's to fuck, but it's a difference between lying and selling a dream. If you just lying, okay, everybody lie. But selling a dream is like, selling a dream is making her feel like she a girlfriend. That's selling a dream. When I was being a whore, I never told no girl she was going to be my girlfriend. I said, I'm not looking for that right now. Anytime they brought up the conversation, I'm not really into that. Yeah, we could do relationship shit, but I'm not into that. I don't want to do that. If you let her know that and she still want to fuck with you, that's on her. Now, if you telling her, like, yeah, you my girl, all this, you fucking, then you act weird. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That's shot, bro. That's shot. That's shot. That shot, that's so weird. And and the only reason I know it's weird because whore is a strong word. A whore is somebody who's fucking people a lot. They make whore okay for boys and not girls. I'm not a double standard person. I was being a whore. I was trying to fuck girls. Being a hoe is had, talking to multiple people but not fucking them. I was being a whore. I was trying to fuck people. Now, I'm saying, if you got to lie and make them feel like they're your girlfriend to fuck them, you're wrong. But anyways, you basically waste the energy on someone you don't like. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Every day, though. FaceTime calls and all that. Once they fuck you, uh... And, I, and I'm guilty. I did it, like, when I was younger. But once I realized, yo, somebody could do this to my sister... I'm like, yo, somebody could do this to my sister. Somebody could. Then I started thinking when I was younger, was niggas doing this to my mom? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The, the, moment, the moment I realized that was the moment I became a better brother and a better son. That's the moment I fought Junior, if you know that story time. That's the moment, you feel me? That's, that's when I do shit like that. Like, no, don't ever think you're going to do that to my sister or my mom, though. Because I go through y'all messages. I go through y'all messages and read your vibe. Because I'm a nigga just like you a nigga. I read these joints to see if they fake. And if they fake, I'm going to you, beat you the fuck up. That's what I'm really on. <laughs> y'all know, know another thing about that? Hold on. I'm going to get back on topic. Who, Junior? He was my mom's boyfriend. I told a story time on that. I beat him the fuck up because he was playing with my mom. Another thing? I try to be the best brother I can, y'all. And niggas don't be shit. They don't be shit for my sisters. They don't. I threaten to beat this nigga the fuck up. I scare him away. I read the message. I keep it real on what his attentions was. And you go back with this nigga. You're not going to let me protect you from these piece of shits. I can't. I can't win. I can't win. So I'm aware, but I don't. I don't step in as often anymore. 
It's crazy. And I'm not the type of brother to hate hate your boyfriend from the rip. You're going to date. But once he do nut shit, he's done. All right, you go back one time. All right, all right, I'm, I'm going to defend you again. After two times, it's like, all right, the nigga, he might as well fuck, fuck, fuck our mom. And you still going to get with him at this point. He might, he might as well fuck your bestie. You're, you're still going to be with him. I be fried, bro. It be, it cooks me so bad. It literally stress. Y'all, when I get angry, y'all never saw me really angry. When I get angry, I can't talk and I just breathe heavy. And I'm just like, like, it, it make me breathe. It, it hurt my, it, it give me my asthma. I had asthma when I was younger. I don't have asthma no more. It, it, it just, anyways. Back to the story, bro. I'm texting her. I'm sending the voice message. It, like, it, it got me angry just talking about it. Leave the nigga alone. I hate this shit, bro. It, I hate It's a pet peeve for me, bro. It's a pet peeve because, because now you know what to do. You got to stay out of it. I know. I know. I know now. I know now. You know, you know what to do for me, though? Because I threaten him and I say, yo, bro, you do anything to my sister again, I'm going to fuck you up, bro. Real rap. I'm dead serious. I said, bro, you a nigga, I'm a nigga. Bro, I know what you're doing, bro. I read the messages. Stop talking to my sister like that, bro. Real shit. He said, all right, bet, all right, bet, bet. Uh, no, I wasn't like, ah. Uh. And then you get back with him. You know what you was telling him? You telling him it's fuck me. It's fuck me. Because I told him, yo, bro, next time you do, I'm going to fuck you up. And you lock back in with him? Anyways. I'm speaking from experience right now, too. Shit hurt my heart, yeah. But anyways, look, back to the story. I'm texting her, right? I'm on that with her. I'm like, yeah, you know, just that in the third. Ha, ha, ha. She laughing, just that in the third. She hit me with this. We keep texting. Boy, my fingers hurt. Just call me. <laughs> Bro, she said, yo, just call me. Like, you, all this texting, just call me. I'm not a texter. Put the shoe on the other foot. Would you care? What, like, I'm dating somebody and my sister want to beat her up? If my sister beat you up, you're done. If I'm mad enough to tell my sister, like, yo, whoop her ass, you're done. That's it. When I'm done with a girl, I'm really done with a girl. I'm not delusional. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a girl thing or a delusional thing. So I don't got to put it on a certain gender so y'all won't feel attacked. But I don't do that. I don't even tell my family about my business. Like, yo, we just got in an argument. Fuck her. Like, niggas who do that and they, oh, yeah, we good again. Yeah, fuck her. This bitch just, she just fucked another nigga. Now you back with her. And that, it made me look at you crazy because it's like, oh, she did all this and you still with her? She fucked another nigga. She texting her ex. She, she, you, you buying her shit. And you still with her? <laughs> you ain't the nigga I grew up with. Anyways, back to the story, though. She say, just call me. Y'all. I run to the bathroom. I run to the bathroom. Grab the black soap. <laughs> Cleanser. I start washing my face. Why? I don't know. I dry it off. Lotion it. Boom. Spr I don't know why, but I sprayed myself with shit. It was just there. It was right there. I swear to God, I knew it wasn't going to affect nothing because it was FaceTime. I just sprayed myself with the cologne. After that, swapped my shirt. I swapped my shirt. I, I I turned the I turned I turned my uh my cousin had a ring light. I'm like, let me see what it it made me look too light skin, so I turned the regular light on, but it was too dim. So I took the ring light and I raised it to the roof, but then I got to the bed. So when it's raised to the roof, it make it it make it it make it look like you feel me? You look good, you feel good. Exactly. You look good, you feel good. That's the one, Jermina. Hallelujah. Let's fucking go. So now I'm like, yo, let me raise it to the jaw. Bro was dorked out. Nah, I'm just not. I'm I'm not afraid to talk about the experiences that we all went through. You feel me? I'm just not afraid to tell what we all went through. Y'all know y'all gotta. Y'all was ready to Facetime somebody, and it took an extra hour, thirty minutes. Y'all said y'all was doing something, but y'all really wasn't doing nothing. Y'all just really was scared to call. We gonna keep it a buck. Yeah, let's let's, let's come on. We, we 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 all been through some shit. I told her I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm cleaning up right now. I'm gonna call you in thirty minutes. I was really swapping my shirt, getting that light right. You feel me? Washing that face. Washing that face. Let's keep it a buck. That's real shit. Come on. So when I call her, my face not even in the camera. Hi. 
Hello? Hello? I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, let's go! So, so my face not even in the camera. I'm like, yo, show your face. You know the default. Show your face. She, you know what I look like, boy? Oh, my God. Girls, when they home... Girls, when they comfortable, ain't got nothing on girls outside. I'm not going to lie. I personally like a girl who got natural hair, but it's messy. Like, it's messy. It's not done. You ain't do it. You ain't do it all the way. Crop top shirt. You wearing your comfortable pajamas, your comfortable shorts, your, your house clothes. That's the best. That's the best. That's when you look the best. That's That's two different people. That's two different people. That's that's two that's two totally different people. That's two totally different people. When she said, "Boy, you know what I look like," and picked it up, and I looked at her. Sweat sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. Anyways, bro, I saw her and my heart skipped a beat. It skipped a beat. Now, now it's it feel like it's pressure on me because I feel like if if she's uncomfortable, I never had a, no girl hang up on me. But I saw my niggas like be so dry on a call, so dry on a call that it get to the point where they I'm I'm gonna call you back. Imagine a girl hit you with the, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you right back, okay? Doo doo. Shit runs. You might as well crack your phone, cause if it's up to her, she ain't never calling the fuck back. Shit is runs. Genuinely. Like, it's, it's all the way runs. Say goodbye. Nah, genuinely. So, she like, uh, yeah, what you doing though? She real outgoing with it. I'm like, yo, that's not the girl I was texting. So, so my thing is, my conversation starters, if you don't know how to hold a conversation, be a realist. Y'all know how when I talk about shit, I'm so passionate. Y'all like, yo, he having flashbacks, or this, that, and the third, or, or like, yo, right, funny. I just say what everybody thinking, or what I was thinking. I just put it on the spot. So, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. When you was texting, you was dry as shit, you wasn't feeling me? She like, what you mean by feeling me, boy? You, you was trying to flirt with me? I'm like, not at the beginning. She, mm. No, I just ain't know you like that. I said, we don't know each other like that now, but we on the phone. She, you right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you already set the standard for comfortability. You, 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 you already gave me your number. We already on the phone. You might as well set the phone up. She set the phone up. She, to put your face in the camera. But it's going to be weird, boy. Just stand the third all oh, list. We chopping it up. I'm like, ah, I'm feeling, bro, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling like Pharrell Williams when he dropped Happy and it hit a billion. Y'all don't understand. For y'all like, yo, Rod was geeking or he was super happy. I'm not gay. Bitches make me happy. I'm sorry. Money, bitches, and success make me happy. Money, bitches, and success make me happy. When we hit a new milestone on YouTube, I'm happy. When I drop a song, when I make a song and y'all love it, I'm happy. Because I'm happy. When I make somebody laugh, I'm happy. That's success to me. When a pretty girl, when it's like, yo, you look like a 10. Like, you, your face is like, like, nobody, you ever see a girl and they be like, yo, nobody could call you ugly. It's not ever a preference thing. You're just not ugly. When a girl like that enjoys me, I'm happy. I'm happy. So I was happy as shit, bro. So we talking and shit, y'all. It's 2 o'clock. We got on the phone at like 10. It's 2 o'clock. So no matter no matter what happened, no more during this conversation, I held you on the phone for for, for hours until 2 o'clock. I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. I hit her with this. I hit her with this. Y'all, y'all, y'all want to know what, what, what girls like more? Y'all want to know what girls like more than a nigga with riz and personality? 
a nigga with morals and boundaries. You know what I told her? I said, I said, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to go to sleep though. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you another day. You heard? She what, boy? You try to hang up on me? Psych, dog. Go ahead. You can't hang up. All right, I'm going to call you. Just stand a third. And you know what the most important message of every phone call is? The first and the last. You better say my number. Beep. If you make her laugh and giggle, you make her ass clap. And jiggle. She just went to sleep with a smile on her face. I gave her a reason to be happy. And y'all know what? I went to sleep, actually. I woke up the next day. And you know what she you know what message was there? You up question mark. She wanted to talk more. She came running back for more. Supply and demand. I'm demanding the supply. If I'm supplying, you demanding. I'm the man and you handing me that ass. I'm trying to fuck. That's what it was, bro. That's what it was, and that's what it is. What was that, right? I don't know. I don't know. God did, though. Bro woke up grinning for sure. I know. I and I. And Oh, my God. The younger I was, the uglier I was off the wake up. I knew I was like this. Hold on, hold on. I know I was like this. Mouth be open when I'm asleep. Shit. Good morning to you too. I just woke up for real. I'm a um. I ain't never see a message. I would have called you right back. I had I had went to sleep. I was tired as shit for real. That's that's it right there. That's it. That's it. You feel me? That's it. I ain't never brush my teeth. It's straight breath coming out the, the, the cracks of my teeth. <sighs> straight breath. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? I'm happy as shit in the morning. And it's the weekend. I start my day off good. Nobody fucked my day up. You feel me? I wasn't on none of that. You feel me? Boom. So this one, it got scary, though. This one, it got scary. This one, it got scary. She asked to call me again. I wasn't in a sudden in the talk. I was in the car. They playing music, all this. I want to talk to her bad as shit. I fucked up. I said, yeah, I'm in the car, though. She said, can you talk, though? I said, yeah, because I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to tell her no. I answered, and she trying to talk, but what you say? Yeah. Now we doing all that. She texted me. I'm going to just call you back. You should tell me you was busy. Just stand a third all this. We ain't text that whole night. I'm like, fuck, I lost her. Damn. I wake up the next morning, no text. I'm like, damn, that's my Saturday. You feel me? My, my Saturday and Sunday dick. No combo. I'm like, yo, my luck, my luck ain't about to run off that one phone call. Too long, brother. She ain't going to keep holding on to that shit. I mean nothing as the days go by. My nothingness is just growing. I'm like, fuck. When I see her in person, though, when I when I see her in person, it's like, bro, I'm I'm back at square zero. You feel me? So so when I see her in person, I ask for a hug. So she go for a side hug. So when she go for the side hug like this, right? I said, what you doing? I put my arm around her waist. She, what you doing? I said, I don't know. You reached out one hand. I'm, I'm, what you want to be escorted? She, what you talking about? I said, I do four hugs. What you talking about? 
I don't do full hugs. I never did full hugs in my life. I don't do full hugs. I don't even like hugging bitches. Bitches be stank. Gosh, I just wanted that. I just want that full hug. I'm like, yeah, I do full hugs. Like, what you talk about all this? She, oh boy, you had me confused. All this, all this. I give her the full hug and all that. I'm holding on. She get off me. I'm like, you smell good today. You feel me? I feel more confident. We just got off the phone. I feel like I know something that other niggas don't. You feel me? I, and I didn't even brag to my homies or none of that. Like, I feel like I know something that other niggas don't know. I do. I feel like, you feel me? Like, so I give her the hug, and she she like, thank you. Y'all, I know my Victoria's Secret smell. I mean, my Bath and Body Works smell. I know it. I said, okay, champagne toast, white toe nails. Okay, white, white nails. What are you showing off for? She, how you know that? <laughs> you feel me? I'm first place in the race, brother. I am. I know my smells. You feel me? Because I wear them. I don't know why they do niggas like that, but you cannot get a good smell of cologne unless you're ready to pay some money money. And I ain't got money, money. So we gonna be working with that champagne dose. That thousand wishes. I love female per Bro, it make you smell so good. I fuck with it. When girl, when a boy no girl shit, I think he a hoe. What? What that gotta do with being a hoe? What? <laughs> the soundboard don't fucking work. Stop clicking it. It doesn't work for you. When I upload it to YouTube, they hear it because they hear it in my headphones. They get all audio that's coming through my headphones. Yeah. So if you feel frustrated because you can't hear hear the soundboard, it's like, dang, bro, don't take it out on niggas on YouTube. What they got to do with your problems, bro? If you can't hear it, then why the click is bothering you? I hear it. Oh, so other people hear it, and it's just not you. It's just it's just you. So now it's more on the type tip, like, damn, so you're going to take that away from people on YouTube and people on the stream? Um, anyways, to speed up the story and shit, like, we start being cool to the point where, like, when I come to school, like, we busting it up a little bit, like, we, 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 we busting up a little bit, so, this where it gets to the point where it get, uh, don't speed it up, though, alright, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, alright, we gonna keep going, boom, so, at this point, She's speaking to me first now in the halls. I'm not going to lie. A different aura gets slapped on your body when the baddest bitch is speaking to you first. You feel me? You feel me? When a bad bitch is speaking to you first, your aura is different. Imagine how, imagine how you feel, right? Imagine how you feel if you worked in a building with Beyonce. How would y'all feel? Comment below. If you're watching this on YouTube and comment on Twitch. If you work in the same building as Beyonce, you get to see her every day. Don't you feel better than, like, don't you feel better than everybody else? I feel like that bitch. You are that bitch because you're in the same place as Beyonce. She got billions of fans and nobody see her. You see how good that feel? Now imagine if Beyonce is speaking to you first and y'all get on the phone. Imagine if Beyonce is speaking to you for now, now. Now, how do you feel? Now, how do you feel? Your aura just gonna be different. It's different from being in the same school as her. You feel me? It's different from being in the same school as her, and oh, she may know who I am. But when everybody want her and she's talking to me first, my aura just different. My aura just different. It's different. Imagine if you walk past Beyonce without saying something. She say, boy, you're not going to speak? What? 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 She said, boy, you're not going to speak? Everybody looking at her. She looking at you. I be feeling like the man when I walk through. When I, when I, when I walk through. When I, when I, when I walk through. 
I be feeling like the man when I walk through. Bro, I feel like the man. So, what me feeling like the man, I got a little bold. And that's what took me to the next step. Because I'm not going to lie, girls like niggas who take the initiative. But it's so it's so crazy because when you take the initiative, sometimes you could get shot down so fast. Bitches keep revolvers on their hips. <laughs> They shoot you right the fuck down as soon as you think you're the man. As soon as you pull her, you coming with me. She'll hit you with the boy. She'll look you up and down and say, boy, who the fuck you thought you was? <laughs> who you thought you was, boy? Ew. She'll like, she'll probably say, ew. That's when girls start to get evil. They'll let everybody know that you thought you was that nigga. You feel me? You can't get too bold unless you know you in there. And, and I start feeling good. So one day she was walking by and, 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 uh, she said, oh, you ain't going to speak? I'm like, don't speak to me now. That was a little bold move because she could have easily been like, all right, watch that. Nope. She like, she like, what? Why you acting like that? You feel me? It take it into once you make girls feel comfortable with the feeling of chasing you while you chase them, they feel it's mutual. So now they don't look at you like you're on a lower level. So if if, if a girl if you're apologizing to a girl all the time and she never apologized, she, she feel like you her bitch. It don't matter. You're her bitch. If y'all both apologizing, y'all on the same level. So you apologize, you apologizing. It's not on a lower level. If you're chasing her, and she's chasing you back, y'all on the same level. If you're only chasing her, she feel like that bitch. She feel like mm, I could text him back when I want to, right? If I hop on the phone with him, it's it's his it's his privilege. But once you show her the same energy, I'm not that. I'm not. I'm interested, but I'm not that interested. Once you show her like I love talking to you, but I can go without. You feel me? The same thing she's been showing you. Then y'all good. You feel me? Then y'all good. So when I hit her with the, no, oh, don't talk to me now. I was on some playing shit, but at the end of the day, she used to niggas kissing her fucking toes. Like, like she, she, she used to niggas being on a tight time. Like, she used to niggas being on a tight time, like, just always on her dick. So even though I was on her dick from the beginning, she let me in. It's already too late. You let me in. You let me in. You, I became entertainment for you once you go home. You entertain me, and you like it because we keep getting on the phone. We keep texting. So if you don't do that, if you don't do something that you've been doing every day for one day, you're going to notice. You feel me? Like if every morning you eat cereal, the day you don't eat cereal, you're going to know you didn't eat cereal because you do it every day. So if you talk to me every day and I don't talk to you, you're going to feel it. I became a part of your daily life. Persistence is key. So now, when I hit that, I, I I basically, you feel me, leveled it out. Now I'm now I'm to the point where I could call her first. Like, yo, wait, why you ain't pick up? Now we on that level. Once we get to that level, bro, we start talking about Lincoln. I said, when I'm gonna see you outside of school, just then the third, all this, just then the third. She said I could take her on a date. I took her on a date to Cheesecake Factory, bro. That's the first. I so I feel bad for this editor. <laughs> Y'all told me go slow, bro. You feel me? So I took her to the Cheesecake Factory or whatever. When I took her to the Cheesecake Factory or all this to stand the third, she was on the type time like when we was talking, we start getting into more of the the dating type questions. Like more in the type time like, yo, how many how many bodies you got? Or or you know, why 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 you break up with the last person? So when she said how many bodies she got, she she like, yeah, you know, I got one. You know, just then a third. She asked me. Of course, I had to lie. I'm like, yeah, you know, two. I'm not. I'm not really a humpy nigga. You feel me? If a nigga, if, if a girl think you a bitch, like let girls think what they want to. If girls thinking like, yo, he ain't humpy. He, he any nigga. Let them think it. I'm not about to sit here and swear up and down. I'm a whore. I'm a whore. But don't don't put an innocent roll on me. I'm a whore. No, no, no. Whatever you say. You feel me? Whatever you say. So she already think I'm not humpy. So I played I played that role. Like, oh, too. I ain't, I ain't that humpy. Like, uh, I had sex and then I, I got the opportunity to do it another time. But at the at the end of the day, you know? Plus whatever she say, five <laughs> by five every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but
boom, we talking and shit. So I took a step into the sexual talk. So I said, I'm not gonna lie. How many boys come at you a day? See, a lot of people come at me a day. Not every day, but you know, about ten people a week at least. You feel me? Just that the third, at least over Instagram in person, just all the time, probably every day. I'm like, how many people? How many of them people want you for sex? And she like, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of them be on that. I said, and you wasn't here trying to talk to me. Oh my god, she, I don't know your intentions. I said. You don't know my you don't you don't know if I'm trying to mislead you. You feel me? I just asked you how many of them people were trying to mislead you. You just told me. You think I'm trying to mislead you? She I don't know that yet. I said exactly. Don't leave room for for, for failure, mis misleading. You feel me? So she like, I don't know, like you just you just it's it's your voice, like you I just thought you was on some little boy shit. I'm like, at the end of the day, you go fuck with a nigga with a deeper voice. Them young boys play sports and got BM by 8 o'clock. Like, they not take you on no date. How many dates you been on? She won. And my boyfriend, we went together for a year. This, that, and third. When girls start talking about that shit, I really honestly don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it at all. I don't want to hear about you and another nigga. I don't. If I'm sitting there trying to fuck with you, why, why do I even... And I know I probably ask, but I don't give one fuck. I don't give a fuck at all. I never give a fuck. Anytime any girl I ever dated talk about her ex, I didn't give a fuck. When you ask me, I won't go into detail. I'll sum it up. It's, disre- it's, it's not disrespectful because I asked. But I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't want to hear. I genuinely don't. And if you and if you and, and if you sound genuine, genuinely passionate about the story, I'm turned off too. So it's kind of self sabotaging. But I don't give one fuck. I don't. I don't. Yeah, when I dated him, he just didn't do this and 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 that. Like this, how you gonna talk about me when we when we stop? I don't know one bitch that that left her ex and and. And, and keep it a buck about how he was. So now it's just on the type time like, just how you gonna talk talk about me if if we break up? Like, bitch, watch out. So I I, I really don't be feeling it. But anyway, reminiscing in my face, like like what? So she talking about that or whatever. So as she talking about that, she like I don't know. I like I like grown men. Like I don't know. I need a nigga who gonna eat my pussy or whatever. And she start laughing. She start laughing. And that's the first time I saw her speak like that. So that's how I knew I cracked a new dimension. She's not saying that to just anybody. She never once spoke freaky to me. You feel me? Just like the third week of us being, you know, semi close or whatever. I'm like, I'm. So I put my hands up and I'm like, she what? What you saying? What? You a little boy? All oh, this? She start touching my chin. I'm like, you keep touching me. Like, what you? Like, I'm like, uh, psych dog, you feel me? Anytime you you reach in that barrier, you take a step into the, to, to talking that sex lane, take a step back, like, uh, psych dog, and see where she gonna take it. Never go full throttle, like, yeah. Like, the niggas in the E-date, so who suck dick better? What you, Kevin Gates? Like, at least say, like, oh, all right, my fault, psych dog. <laughs> you feel me? Like, real quick, but he let it be silent for a whole minute. Who suck dick better? Silent. I'm waiting for you. He, he waiting on you like the teacher that's still going to get paid. He waiting on you. <laughs> you know, once you like, and, 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 and you don't have to answer that question. You can easily be turned off. Don't turn somebody off by trying to get a freak. Is this knowledge more important to you than fucking with this person? That's what you got to ask yourself. She can cut me off if I ask this. Is getting this answer more important than actually fucking? No, it's not. So, so, so I would never go that. So I'm like, it's like, nah. And she, boy, you can't. She, once she said, boy, you can't handle me, boy. I knew I was in there. I said, what? Who can't what? Just that the third all oh, list. She talking crazy all oh, this. That was just a conversation that was had, but it it would only happen for like two minutes. It really wasn't a long conversation. I don't want y'all to think she was fast. It got cut quick, but it still happened. So at the end of the day, I could bring this up at any time. You feel me? I could bring this up at any time. Y'all. Mm-mm-mm. I used to be on 2K every single day. 
this girl was my dream girl because she used to watch 2K YouTubers. You a bad bitch and you like games? Wow. That's when 2K was tough. 2K ass now. But it's like, yo, you a bad bitch and you interested in games? You like watching it? She, yeah, I be watching Swante and, and Steezo, and I be watching, uh, and I be watching this and that. Now I start watching on the phone with her, start watching videos. That's really a while. Girls that like video games know how to play video games, watch anime, love watching anime, know how to dress. These things that the girls really don't know how to do because girls can get dressed, but knowing how to dress is different. You could throw some shit on, look cute, and it's like, yo, it's presentable, it's good, whatever. But when you cooking, like, yo, she dressed better than niggas. Like, yo, she can really dress. That's knowing how to dress. Um, like, you feel me? Like, she really was, you feel me? Like, when your girl interested into the things you're interested in, it just, it's, it's just a wow. So, so that made me fuck with her even more. So, this where I got her, and I didn't even know I was going to fuck her. I forgot the objective. That's what I mean. I went in wanting to fuck, but I forgot the objective. I went in wanting to fuck, but I forgot the objective. I, I was playing 2K one day, and we was on the phone and shit, and nobody was there. She like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to come over. You got to teach me. Hold on. Give me a second. Yo, mom, um, what time you come home? Oh, yeah, I won't be home till 11 p.m. Wow, what's, what's going on with the house? Uh? Nah, I'm asking you because I wanted to go outside. Boy, you're not fucking going outside. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Let her curse you out so she don't think it's not suspicious. Now my mom could think, yeah, this nigga got me fucked up. No, mom, you have me fucked up for thinking I'm that dumb. Well, I look like your average teenager. You think I'm about to just say, like, like, I say, yeah, you could come over and all uh, this to stand third. She, what part of the town you even live in? It fucked it up because I lived in Uptown and she lived in West. But it's a bus that go right directly near my crib. <laughs> she come over to, she come over to the crib. If only my family ain't have ring camera. That new ring camera shit cooked the generation under me. We ain't had ring cameras. But, uh, like, get off my fucking neck. Um, chill. Um, anyway. Oh, why did I just get angry at that? I, I, I be peeping. I get angry at items. Let me chill. Um, but, bro, she come over or whatever. We playing 2K or whatever. We in two separate chairs while we playing 2K. You feel me? We in two separate chairs. She in a like uh y'all know what y'all know the outside cookout chairs? The leg was fucked up a little bit. So now it keep like leaning and being weird. She moved to like weird while she playing 2K. We playing play now and playing each other at break. She said she she sit in my chair. I said, I'ma sit on the floor. I'm sitting on the floor, whatever, we playing, whatever, boom. Playing, playing, playing. I'm like, damn, it's gonna hurt my ass. She like, yo, you can get your chair back. I'm like, nah, where you gonna sit? She like, it don't matter. I sit down. I don't know where she gonna sit, but I sit down. She sit on my lap. I got my arms around her waist. I'm playing 2K. I'm playing her against 2K while she's sitting on my lap. She got the controller like this. I'm. I got my arm. What? Okay. <laughs> I see what we're doing here. <laughs> I see what we're doing here. You sold on purpose? Never. I've never been that type of nigga. I bust her ass by 30. Anyways. Uh, it was a little surprising that she was even scoring. And that I had to try. But she did get cooked by 30. Uh, 30 plus. Uh, so no, she wasn't winning. I don't give a fuck if you... High spice. You're getting cooked. Um, because you know where girls take it sometimes? And, and this really gonna hurt my heart. 
You feel me? Imagine a girl hit you with this, right? That nigga ain't shit anyway. Yeah, he tried to fuck me. He not ever good in 2K. I bust his ass in 2K too. He any nigga. Imagine she could say that. <laughs> Imagine she say that, bro. Imagine she say that. Nah. I can't. Imagine she say she bust your ass in 2K as well. Nah. Not me. Nope. That's the least thing she could say. You ain't bust my ass in 2K. <laughs> what team you had? I had go to the state every round. Bust her ass by 30. Every time. <laughs> you feel me? But she keep wanting to play. And I'm just having fun because she's cute. We play stage. I love stage. Yo, Sean, thanks for the subs. Nigga, yo, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub for me. Be real. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub so y'all don't got to keep dealing with these ads. Uh, a sub like $6. Come on, y'all. Drop a sub, man. Yo, Sean, I appreciate you, bro. Boom. I'm, she's, she's sitting on my lap, whatever we plan. I'm about to say this, and you will only understand if you ever had sex or if 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 you really deal with girls. Oh shit, yo, Sean, thanks for the extra. <laughs> Sean, thanks for the extra five subs, bro. Die, he's snapping, <laughs> he's snapping, bro. I appreciate you. Nigga was cheating with Golden State. Niggas done beat me while I had Golden State. She just asked. Um, Sean, I appreciate you, bro. That's real, bro. You only gonna know if you ever had sex. She did a certain movement that just turned me on. Like, even though she was sitting on my lap, I wasn't, like, hard or nothing. She made a certain movement and started turning me up. And I made a certain movement that just, like, like a, an adjust movement. And I know that let her know. I know that let her know that, like, yo, I'm, I'm getting turned on. You feel me? You feel me? So, so, so she made a certain movement, a little grind, like, you feel me? So I say, I, I put, the, I, I cook her, and I'm talking shit or whatever. I'm like, yo, I gotta give you the house tour. That's my little John, give her the house tour. I'm showing her the crib. Once we get to my room, she never see no other room. It's runs. I sit on the bed real quick. Oh, shit, let me make my bed. I never make my bed. I think I could probably count on my fingers how many times I've, I made my bed in my life willingly. Not not the times that my mom whooped my ass to clean my room. I'm just talking about times that I willingly said, hmm, let me clean the bed. I never got making the bed. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen, bro. Making the bed. I'm going to lay in this bitch tonight. Doesn't matter. Um, so I'm making my bed. She sits on the edge of it. I'm not going to lie. When she sit on the edge of it, I'm like, yo, I ain't going to lie. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how I take it from here because now she's saying, damn, yeah, 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 your crib big. I know the rooms, the other room's big. She too focused on the other rooms. Fuck them other rooms, girl. What the fuck? So now I don't know what to do. So I'm like, yo, I'm about to, I, I hit her with this. I said, I might swap into my house clothes or whatever. Shirt off. She, oh boy, your body, you built like a boxer, all this. I'm letting her gas me up. I'm like, yeah. I put I put, I put, put my shirt onto my neck, but I don't fully put it on. I'm taking my time. Let me grab some socks. I don't even wear socks in the crib. I'm putting socks on, letting her see my body. She, come here. You feel me? She tapped my stomach. She rub it. I'm like, yo, what you doing? She, I had to make sure you wasn't sucking in your stomach, being a pump figure. I'm like, what I look like doing that? Like, what, what I look like? Hole in my stomach and like no, I'm not that type of nigga or whatever. She, mm hmm. I see you. I see you. Uh, you know, just that the third. What you be working out? I'm like, yeah, I never worked out. Like, oh, I just that the third. I said, what you got? You you got abs? You got abs? That was dumb as shit. You got abs? Let me see. I'm just trying to touch skin. I ain't gonna lie. She, I ain't got no abs, boy. She lay back. Comfortability. We got her. We got her. 
She laid back. I ain't got no ass, boy. Once you lay back, you're signifying that we are staying in this room. And I agree with your brother. I agree we are staying in this room. I never intended on going back. I actually cut the Xbox off. Yo, Sean, thanks for the sub. Yeah, he is cooking. Oh, he gifted an extra five? Yo, extra six. Yo, Sean, thanks, bro. But, um, boom, she laying back or whatever. And I'm just sitting down on my phone, but I'm still rubbing her stomach. You feel me? So, she like, she like, yeah. You ever give here before? I say, yeah, I give here. We have a sex talk. Why she like this? Oh, no. I'm like, yo, I know this. She like, yeah, you ever gave head before? I'm like, yeah. She, you ever got head? I'm like, yeah, but girls don't know I really do it. I'm going to keep it a buck. I was really talking from a genuine place, bro. I'm talking from a genuine place as I'm laying back. I'm like, bro, girls really don't know how to give head. Like, I'm like, I never, like, you know, finished off head. That shit be fake. Like, you know how niggas be gassed at? I'm talking and shit. As I'm talking, she, she like, start feeling right here, like, Acting like she about to pull it down. Actually pull it down. As soon as her tongue hit it. I'm like, what? This real? What? I'm <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is real. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting bopped by, by the bitch that I fucking like. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh and be a comedian at the same time. <laughs> Sean, thanks for the 10 subs, bro. You a real nigga. You a real nigga, bro. We appreciate you. Sean blessing me right now, bro. All right, I'm done, nigga. I'm broke. Nigga, you rich, bro. You got me. 100 gifts at all time, bro. You a real nigga, bro. It's Sean underscore two, bro. I appreciate you. And he only typed six times, period. Damn, bro. Damn. I mean, he just really just be here to enjoy the stream. I fuck with that, bro. That's real. Anyways, she like, um, she like, what she say? She like, yeah, I'm gonna show you something or some shit like that. You feel me? Niggas who don't talk but gif a lot, BW's real rap, bro. King Carter, King Carter, that nigga, I ain't gonna lie. He that nigga. <laughs> but, uh, she like, I'm gonna show you something. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Well, no, I got better head now. But at that time, that was the best head I ever had. She said, come here real quick. Pull my pull my head close to her neck. I start sucking on her neck. Don't tell me twice. I'm like this. Once we, once we, I'm, I'm pulling them down. You're tripping. Oh, what? So I'm pulling my shit down. I'm, I'm like, I whisper in her ear. I'm a freak freak. I said, I said, take, take them off. Take these off. She started shimmying them down herself. I said, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm with all that. She feeling on my body, all this. She started trying to push my head down. <laughs> she started trying to push my head down. So I hit her with this. Now I start kissing down the stomach. I lift one leg up. I kiss it. Then I slide back up to the neck while I implant the dick. I'm like, I can't. I'm like, it's not me. So now I'm humping. So now I'm humping. Like, I, I hit her with the, yeah, get in there. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, and I know it was wrong. I know I was wrong. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so now I, I'm, I'm, I'm in there. So now, like, yo, she really enjoying herself. So I know it made up for it. It's like, yo, it's not that deep. 
You feel me? You feel me? So now I'm in there, like, you feel me? And I really be trying to be ushering that joint. Chris Brown, I'm hitting, like, a row. That shit going, like, slow going in there. I'm really, like, you. I'm in it. You feel No, not ass all the way in the air when they be humping the air. But, like, I'm really giving her strokes, though. You feel me? Real joints. So I start I start thinking, uh, ushering them used to be, like, they used to be homo. Uh, they, yeah, they used to have their ass in the air, humping the ground, diving on it, all this weird shit. I don't know why that was ever, like, popularized or normal or praised or repeated. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But, um, like, I'm really in it. You feel me? And once I'm in it, once it's like, yo, we know we fucking, I gotta take it there 100%. I said, yo, stop running. Turn on to her back. I'm in it. Doing my fucking thing. I'm doing my thing. You feel me? I see that she finished. Because I'm like, uh, that ain't me. I see that she finished. She finished it up. I said, huh? She finished it up. Look at me with a little devious look. And this, at this moment, at this moment that I'm looking at her, she don't look that cute to be eating a buck. I said, I, said, I ain't gonna lie, my mom about to come up. I'm looking at her, I'm like, she don't even look that good. <laughs> I'm like, why would I fuck her? I don't care what, like, get him up. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I wasn't on something. All right, get out my house now, bitch. Like. I'm just like, I'm not eating your box. So what's next? <laughs> what's next? You feel me? I'm like, I'm not eating your box. Like, And if you think about it, I feel like eating a box and, 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 and eating ass is something that older people, gen- you just have to be older to even realize. Y'all, y'all remember the songs? But he got to eat the booty like groceries. I just start. I was thinking last week. Who popularized eating ass? Then I'm thinking niggas been rapping about getting their ass ate. This ain't new. I just was a young boy. Bitches is really out here. Niggas is out here eating ass. It's a song about a nigga rapping from years ago saying he get his ass ate. It's a lot of shit out here, y'all. You just don't really notice. Until, you know how you start peeping something once you notice what it is? Once you realize what shit is, you start realizing what niggas really saying. You start saying, you start saying what? Oh, no. Y'all remember? But she gotta eat the boy. Yeah, yeah, how walk close to me. She gotta eat the boy like... What? Eat the booty like groceries, bitch. Groceries is healthy, good foods. I ain't eating you like that. Bad bitches get their ass ate. I done fucked a lot of bad bitches. None of them got their ass ate from me. Bad bitches get the ass ate by real niggas. Uh huh. I heard that before. Lay likes to preach that a lot. Lay says that a lot. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Now, at this age that I'm at right now, I will eat your pussy. I will. I will I'll, I'll eat the box. I eat the box. You know how that. Mm, 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 mm. I only did it one time. No, not one time. My, my fault. I only did it to one person. <laughs> I am a pro at anything I do. Lay began her ass eating. Lay said, bad bitches get their ass eat. And if he don't eat your ass, he not a real nigga. I said, Lay, I don't even know why you keep fake niggas like me around. Because it ain't going to happen. She she said, any nigga I've been with eat my ass. I said, oh, really? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Well, we don't date, so. But it's like <laughs> she said, any nigga I've been with eat my ass. Yep. <laughs> Guess I'm a fake nigga. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, I'm the <laughs> nigga said, damn, bro, no. <laughs> no one woman should have all that. <laughs> no one woman should have all that power. <laughs> nah, funny as shit. <laughs> Bro, so after that, she like, did you just hit me with that move? I'm like, what move? She, you never, you never was intending to do it, for real. Like, just then a third, I'm like, was it not good? Like, I'm like, yeah, you finished and all that. She like, yeah, but do you not do it? Like, I feel played. I'm like, no, I don't feel played. Like, I'm just not doing it. Like, yeah, I'm just being honest. Like, it's not happening. Sorry. So she like, she like, um, she, <laughs> she like, y'all eating ice spice, but I'm not eating ice spice. Yeah. That's my thing about eating ass. Let me be real honest with y'all. Y'all know I'm always keeping a buck with y'all. You pay me enough money. Out. My thing is, ain't no nigga about to eat your ass so good that you remember him. So, so what am I really benefiting from? How much is it? Yeah, how much is enough? I'm fucking you good. I'm eating the pussy good. And you want me to eat your fucking ass that you shit out of? And then when I ask a girl, I'm like, yo, you shit out your ass. I'm good. She, I could wash up. I'm like, oh, I guess, but I, I'm still uninterested. And she, y'all eat pussy. Stuff happened with her vagina. It's like, bro, at this point, like, I hear you, bro. But I'm not making y'all eat from, from a shithole. When you eat pussy, you supposed to really get in there, you know, get sloppy, I guess, do your thing. You want me to get sloppy in your asshole? Why? Why? And you might call me a little boy, but okay, I don't date you, so. And nine times out of ten, if I wanted to fuck you, like, I would, I would, I would, I would make it work. But I, 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 now that I see this your mindset, like. It's not gonna happen. It's not. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not me. It's you. Sorry. The way you wording it is crazy. No, ain't nothing crazy about the truth. Yeah, they be sitting the you a little boy. You a low ass boy, all oh, this. You a, I need a grown ass man. Well, bitch, you go fuck with the Rock then, Dwayne, Rock Johnson. You need a grown husky ass man that's gonna eat your ass. Bitches want somebody who gonna pick them up and eat their ass in the air. Like, bro, if y'all want acrobats, y'all go find Zuko and air and the Airbenders in them. But I'm not gonna do it, bro. I'm not. I'm not him. Like, I'm all with the freaky shit. Like, we could fuck in different places. We could, like, like, I'll try my best to up it, up it last time from the time I ate the pussy. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you better. We could do it to, to the mute, to the tempo of the beat. We could do all the positions. I'll fuck you hanging off the bed. Like, we could really spice it up, but. Why is eating your ass the top? What's after that? You kind of like a crackhead. Like, certain weed smokers smoke so much that they need to keep smoking more and more to get high. After that, they like, yo, I'm going to just pop a pill. I'm going to just do crack now. It's like, that's what's the highest? What's the highest now? What's what's next? What's next? What's next after eating your ass? Bitches already, I, I already heard niggas is spitting in niggas' mouths. 
I can't get down with this shit all the way. I'm sorry. I'm maybe I'm not that much of a freak as I as I think, but I'm I, I would call myself a freak because I'm going I'm going to do what I need to do. But niggas are spitting the niggas' mouths and eating ass. And my thing is to them niggas, we don't know who out here eating ass. Why are y'all giving niggas pops or y'all drinks? Why why are you letting people eat off your fork? Your spoon? Do you know that the human body has to shit at least every other day? And you've been shitting every other day since you've been born. And I have to move on and find another girlfriend if we break up. And I have to kiss her lips. Anyways. I hit her with the like, yo. I don't know, like. It's not gonna happen, like. You feel me? Like, this and the third. So she got dressed and she had an attitude or whatever. And she just like, I feel played. You any nigga, this and the third, start going at me. And I'm just like, yo. Like, we could fuck again. It's not that deep. You feel me? I'm like, we could fuck again. It's not that deep. So after that, she was just like, yo, I'm out. This and the third, she left. All that. She told the school, like, yeah, he a little-ass boy, all this, all this. You feel me? He a little-ass boy. And people kept asking, why? Why Why you say that? 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 And she wouldn't tell. She wouldn't tell nobody. And I wasn't going to say nothing either. So it's like, you saying I'm a little-ass boy and you don't fuck with me no more. But it's like, I fucked. You feel me? I fucked. Right? I fucked, though. I still cracked. I did it. I did the objective. I fucked. And not only did I fuck, I made you finish. What are we talking about? So, you know, that's the time I almost gave head. And I was 16. I didn't end up giving head until I was 18. And, you know, it ain't that bad. I be kind of skeptical. I be on the type of time, like, I can't give head unless I know, like, you, like. I don't know. It got to be, like. Cause even though I I do it on the person I do it on, it's like this dumbass chair. Watch out, I'm stuck. But it it yeah clean maybe like clean. Sometimes I still be like oh, you know. hygiene always gonna be clean, but it's like yo I know we was just outside all day. You can't be giving hit. Yeah, I only did it with one person, but you know that's the story time about how I. Clean locks, man. Yeah. Why'd you always get mad at objects? Because I'd be fighting with them, and they'd be like, yo, like, you feel me? You finger girls right? Not really. I feel like, I feel like fingering, I feel like you need to know how to finger. I might do it on a slight tip, but for real, for real, I feel like it hurts them. I'm not really a finger type bull. Fingering is like a form of warming up. Warming a girl up. At that point, you might as well eat her pussy to warm her up. Warm her up that way. Turn it up. Be a be a be a be a real sex demon. Anyways, yo, if you watching this on YouTube, um, I'm not gonna lie, they gonna turn, they gonna take this down. It's too sexual. Um, if you watch this on YouTube, y'all niggas be aggressive with it. Yeah, like I just said, I'm not aggressive with. It.